Welcome back to the Arise interview. I'm Charles Anyagulu. Now let's talk about a plan by NASA to save the world from rogue asteroids. It's the U.S. Space Agency's first planetary defense test to intentionally crash into an asteroid to test the ability to deflect a space rock from its path and potentially save the Earth. Well, earlier today, a rocket lifted off from California on a mission to smash a spacecraft into an asteroid. NASA's DART project will test whether it's possible to knock an asteroid off a collision course with Earth. It'll target a rock which is 11 million kilometers away, but apparently the object poses no threat to Earth. But beyond this particular space rock, how much of a threat do itinerant asteroids pose to the planet? Well, Arise correspondent Dan Warren has been following this latest launch by NASA, as well as the orbit of chunks of cosmic debris, and he joins me now in the studio. Good to see you, Dan. So talk us through this mission, which is about averting a potential impact with Earth. I mean, how do they intend to do it? How do they deflect an asteroid? Well, basically, what's happened is this um, this um, uh, uh, spacecraft has, has gone into space. It's not going to get to where it needs to until the end of September, beginning of October next year. Mm. Uh, once it's got into its its orbit, uh, basically at fifteen thousand miles per hour, it's going to shoot into uh, an asteroid. And what they what they're hoping to do, because there seems to be a lot of confusion that then they d it's not going up there to smash it into smith smithereens because they don't want well, any good to space know. Debris, debris. <laughs> what they want to do is move its tra uh, trajectory so right okay if it was if it was on path uh, heading for the right. earth which is not and i have to say how could you knock it off its path yes yeah, so just it, right. just even by one degree would make such a difference mm. so that's that's what they're doing it's never been done before yes and I was going to ask you that. I mean, they are modeling it on computers on Earth. I mean, yeah. which is quite remarkable, um, isn't it? Well, yeah, in I mean, itself. NASA's yet a briefing yesterday, they were trying to build it up, going, well, we're. It's almost a replay of the Armageddon movie with with. Um, uh, I don't uh, like that word Armageddon. Yes, well, that, that, that frightens that's, me. But, you know, that's when NASA <laughs> is saying it. It is slightly worrying. But basically, it's it's. The, the, the plot of Armageddon was there was an atomic bomb to, to, to blow it into smithereens. Mm. This is not the case. This is, as you right, said, okay. they've used computerized um, models um, on, uh, um, on Earth, as you say. It is going to be, um, it is the unknown. They've said they mm. don't know, even know if this is going to work. Um, they, ten days ago, they sent up a, a smaller um, spaceship mm. or a space uh, vessel um, from an Italian space rocket that's actually going to film and uh, send images back once we know it's it's got to where it needs to in 10 months time it's going to be about 36 miles away from the collision site mm. um, but um, because of the the distances and because everything is so uh, minute they can only in effect trace it on telescope by light and it will only be traces of light that will say whether this has worked or right well, I mean, it's, it's, I mean, you, you know, you, you, you're sitting there looking all calm and sort of not a hair out of place sort of thing. But I mean, one has to worry about the random elements when this sort of thing happens, um, you know, flying into an asteroid. Um, are there concerns at all that rather than just deflecting it off its path, you might kind of break bits of it or chunks of it might break off? And, I well, mean, it is a collision, isn't it? Exactly. And they don't know what structure these asteroids are mm. made of. They could be solid as a rock or Absolutely. they could actually be hollow inside. Mm. If it's hollow, it's likely then would smash into to smithereens and actually could pr cause more problems. Hence, that's why it's so far away mm. from Earth that they're they're doing this. I mean, to, to, to sort of reassure people, currently there's about 40, they, they believe about 40% of, of the asteroids around the solar system have been monitored. And for the next 100 years, we would be safe. But what they're but doing- then there's 60%. Yes, there's, yes when, when it's less than half. But the the errant 60%. But, but the fact is they're saying they're doing this now. Mm. So should something arise, it's not a case of, oh, we'll have to test it in a live environment mm. so it is a you know it's a it's a very expensive 325 million dollar uh, experiment that uh, may or may not work but well let's talk about that should something arise <laughs> you know i mean if a chunk of cosmic debris such as an asteroid were to collide with earth 
what sort of devastation would it unleash? Because I understand it'll be pretty bad. Yes, I mean, um, the, the, uh, the smaller um, asteroid that they're, they're aiming to hit, that mm. they, they want to see basically there's two asteroids, there's a smaller one that will then hopefully hit the bigger one. That's why they've gone for these two asteroids. But basically the smaller one is roughly the size of the Eiffel Tower and that would cause damage to a continent. Uh, if it impacted. So it's right. not just a case of a town would be wiped that's out. That's pretty it big. Would, it would, I mean, the, it is absolutely catastrophic and hence that's why they're doing this. Now, there's always been theories that if something was coming close to the Earth, they could blast it out of the way, but it's never been um, proven. And there mm. was then the theories, well, actually, if you use, uh, like the Armageddon movie, and, and actually <laughs> physically blow something up, that could actually cause far more damage Absolutely. That, you know, and, and the, the fact of a meteorite shower almost, which you then couldn't control mm. if it was too close to Earth. So that's why um, they're, they're using this uh, trajectory path as opposed to uh, an explosive path. It's interesting, isn't it, that an asteroid is one of the few things that they could actually control. I mean, here we are on Earth, we can't control earthquakes, we can't control a lot of things, but you can at least try to do something about something like a collision with an asteroid. Well, exactly. It's the word is try and, uh, mm. and attempt. I mean, we will know um, by next September, October, whether we, you know, mankind mm. can. But it's a, co a, a collaboration with all of the international space agencies. So it's good to see that finally they're working together. Mm. And it's not a space race with who, you know, Absolutely. whether the US or China could blast the first one out first. It's actually, it needs to be done. Um, and it seems to be now is the time mm. for them to do it. And given that you're sitting there looking so scholarly, Dan, what exactly is an asteroid? I mean, I, I understand they're sort of the leftover building blocks of the solar system. Yes, you know, so, you know, parts of planets and uh, that, that weren't required, basically, and mm. bits of moon surplus that are broken bits. up. Yeah, surplus, uh, surplus to requirements. Mm. And just uh, in their own orbits, um, the, for the people in the space station, they're a continuous hazard uh, because... Um, I mean, it's it's not uncommon for, for bits of asteroid or bits of space rock to, to hit the sides of the mm. International Space Station rather them than me. Um, but um, it is it's 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 just a normal way of of life in the solar system. And, mm. and there are millions of, of bits of asteroid out there. Um, and so far, we are lucky. Obviously, there's theories in the past that the planet might have been hit by them and you know, that's why yeah. one of the reasons why the dinosaurs are no longer with us. Um, but, we, you, you know, obviously they don't know that. Obviously they didn't have NASA at the time. So no, it might no, be it difficult to it, deflect yes, and the there was path no internet, of So it was very <laughs> difficult for them. But, but the fact is, it's, um, uh, it's every planet and every moon right. can, can face it. It's just obviously we're mankind and we like to control things. Sure. So, so on behalf of humanity, I hope the planet is safe, as, you know, as that sort of spacecraft hurtles above our heads towards the asteroid. I mean, we are safe. Are we? we are safe. I mean, NASA keeps stressing. I mean, it's, it's interesting. It's a typical uh, PR thing where they've really hyped mm. up this event and now they're having to spend a lot of time reassuring people because, of course, internet rumors are, uh, are circulating. There is no risk either to the, uh, the asteroids that they plan to hit or any other asteroid for at least the next 100 years it's been traceable. Well, I'm reassured. Dan, thanks very much indeed. Dan Warren, Arise correspondent there. That's it for this edition of the Arise interview. Join us again tomorrow from me and the entire team here in Abuja and around the world. Bye-bye and thank you for watching.